Okay, so we're here once again in Mining Simulator 2 and I've had a lot of questions recently basically got asking me how do I get so many gems? So as you can see, if I just quickly hatch this egg right now, um, hopefully we're able to see over here I have over 2 million gems which is quite a lot and of course I can pretty much AFK hatch this hole in mystery egg for the whole entire week without running out and basically what I'm going to show you guys today is how I actually saved up this amount of gems and basically where is the best way to actually get gems from. So let's get straight into it. So of course basically since the last mystery egg before this one it was a good couple of months which did obviously help with gaining a lot of gems over time. Now one thing that I always do when I log into the game is check my factory. Now of course I do have times 2 gems which is an absolutely massive game pass to have and I would highly recommend getting it but basically every single 4 hours I can get around like 31,000 gems from this which is always really important. Now even if you're only logging on once per day, that can still give you quite a lot, especially considering the fact that gems don't really get spent as often as they used to. There's not as many rebirth tools coming out. And of course, another tip as well, I would highly recommend you do not buy as many rebirth tools as I have. Things like the Abyssal Trident, the Sweet Scoops, even the Riptide probably aren't even worth buying. If you can literally get any of these like first three or like all duplicator five, That'll be honestly perfect and you'll be literally sorted for the rest of the game. Pets are the way to go to get as many mining powers as you can. Of course if it does help a little bit then try and get maybe something a little bit more. But I would say the maximum one you need to get is definitely the Riptide. Don't really go any further than that. Just kind of save your gems. But yeah, going back to what was going on about before. The factory can be a great way because you can get at least like 31,000 gems per day. And of course, if you are going to be playing the game quite a lot, you can get even more than that. Say you are literally logging on every single four hours to claim the factory. You can get way more than that. You can even get close to like 100,000 gems per day, which can always be really good. And of course, if you are waiting at like multiple months to actually spend your gems, over time you can end up saving up a massive amount of gems. Over a month, that those 100,000 gems from the factory will get you up to close to like, what, 3 million gems, which is always going to be really important as well. And another thing right now, which I would actually recommend probably trying out, is actually rebirthing using the Halloween mine. Of course, it does cost coins, or it gives you coins for the stone, which can actually be really, really helpful, especially once you get down to the really low depths. When you're getting like 450,000 blocks per like hit, basically per stone, you can rebirth really, really easily. And I have actually put up an AFK uh, rebirthing video on my channel somewhere. So make sure you do go watch that because I can also help with getting a lot of gems without having to actually play the game. But yeah, rebirthing right now as well can also be a really, really good way of actually getting some gems as well. And just to kind of finish off with this video, um, yeah, basically that's pretty much it for what I've actually been doing. You can also use the season pass. I probably have opened quite a fair amount of these without actually spending the gems. Not the season five pass though. I really haven't opened this one too much. But the season 4 pass, I definitely opened quite a bit and got quite a lot of gems out of that. And of course, that is when we first actually introduced the bonus gems in the premium pass. So again, another thing I'd recommend getting. But yeah, overall, it's actually fairly easy to save it with gems. The factory can be more than enough to actually help you get enough gems for the following updates. So yeah, just basically log in every single day. Get those gems out of the factory. Of course, try and get times 2 gems as well as this premium pass because it will really help you out. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.